Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in your toy hunting missions. <clears throat> Let's debrief. So today we are looking at Masters of the Universe Origins Wind Raider Assault Lander. Let's rip into this. So I'm doing an open box review on this because I opened this up for a fan made video and the box was a little crunchy. So I have another one that the box is in good condition. So I'm going to leave that one in there. But I wanted to showcase this because I got it out of the package and the only video I got up of this is the one with the container so let's get into this so this is a bit bigger than the original um wind raider that was out when i was a kid in the 80s um which i like it because it is bigger the other one was it always seemed too small um for the action figures where this one it's nice and roomy you can see that he man's got plenty of room to sit in there it's got the same wings the roll and flip the back rudder you can move that to aim where you're going you can see the jet blast stickers the stickers are done really well Paint's mostly mostly good. The yellow's a little off here and there, but not too bad. Um, this part, let's see if I can show this without knocking the camera around. Shoots, if you push this button right here, there's a button on this side, but that's not a button. This is the button. Shoot that, let's see if I can do this without, so you guys can see. And it shoots out. <laughs> but you got the string. So you can carry the characters up. It's kind of kind of interesting. It's got a little hook where it clicks in to the locking mechanism. You spin the head like the old one. And you can lock in the, the grappling hook. This one has wheels on the bottom, and that's the little hole that goes for the stand, which comes with it, which is kind of cool because it helps with the display so you can lift it up off the ground. This part can undo, and that snaps into Castle Grayskull up on one of the turrets or the towers. And that sits back in there. Got a nice skull thing on there. Looks like the castle, castle rocks. It's got a little computer to go with the, with the stand. The stand is adjustable. Has little locking stops on it, so it'll only go so far which is good and you put that up there also you have stickers for display on the dashboard and on the side he-man's holding on to one handle there's another handle right there see it right there but lot, very roomy toy for the action figures. And then it just snaps on like so. And you're ready to fly. So it's like a $30 toy, which I think is totally worth it. The stickers are already applied. I didn't have to do that. 
Um, let me pull this out of the way. I'll quickly show you the box. If you want to see a more in-depth view of the box, go back and look at my past videos on the Wind Raider, and you can see, get a better, better look at the box. But there it is, Masters of the Universe Wind Raider Assault Lander. Wings and tail move, has a grappling hook and winch, carries He-Man on surprise raids. New for 2021. And then includes hover display stand. Comes in a clear clear front container. A retro play. Uh, this side. I don't know what vehicle that is. There was never a vintage vehicle of that. But Man at Arms is whooping on Beastman and Merman in that shot. And then on the, this side, really quickly, Wind Raider with that weird frog dude, the Green Goddess, and then I don't know who that character is, but then you have, uh, oh, I forget his name, off the top of my head, trying to keep everything straight, so the Heroic Warriors pilot. Pilot the Wind Raider into battle with incredible death-defying maneuvers. And you get the awesome, awesome uh, paint work that typically comes with the back of the Masters of the Universe. You got Man-at-Arms, Tila, He-Man, Faker, Beast-Man, some Frog-Man, Skeletor's back there. You got the bad Wind Raider, and then of course the good Wind Raider. And then Castle Grayskull, Buzzsaw Hordak, Battle Armor Skeletor, and He-Man. And then the instructions of if it can shoot the hook, wind it back up, he can roll, or he can sit up on Castle Grayskull. Oh, and warning, do not fire at point-blank range. So let's, not last but not least... Get you the UPC, and there it is. Like I said, I've seen these at uh, Target, no, Walmart, sorry. Uh, I have not seen these at Target, I believe. I've only seen the Land Shark and uh, other character vehicles, but not this one. So I'm Jason, this is War Journal Toys. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.